Hello everyone and welcome to the video and the next new raid in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 for 50,000 points you can see all the rewards on the screen right now for 50,000 points you get these two rather nice artworks if I do personally and professionally say so myself as well as the Fu outfit which it's not the accessory it's just the top bottoms the gloves and the boots I would guess the accessory will be next week I don't know stay tuned if you don't see the raid it's this it's right here on the stage in Canton City it unlocks at different times depending it's not the same time locally i think for easter it's like 11 p.m i don't know look just check back tomorrow and it will be available so yeah we'll get at least 50,000 points possibly 100,000 points depending on how long it takes and that good stuff i'll also show the build i use on burkhold my freezer race character as well as we'll accept the rewards from last week's raid who I think was against Fu, which is weirdly enough. Okay, let's wait for a full team and do me a favor. Please do leave a like and subscribe. We are about 400, I think, away from 600,000 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please do. Okay, one moment. Hey guys, it's me, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, that one, and Gyron the Grey. <laughs> yeah, so full team i'll be surprised if it's going to take more than three runs four runs of five minutes to get at least fifty thousand. i do have a slight feeling maybe however for some reason i feel like i am gonna get like fifty thousand points in the first run but i guess we'll have to wait and see as usual for online raids the certain skills that you just shouldn't run such as gigantic raw as that basically gives the computer or anyone who uses it on uh, a few seconds of invincibility therefore you or anybody else can't do any more damage on them you just can't do any more damage so it's a complete waste fair play for golf uh stamina the vases on the na9 af i believe um nah, i shouldn't have done that should have waited another few until one minute has passed because then everyone myself included and the raid boss would get an extra extra large damage increase and it would have optimized the uh, super soul and the limit burst so it's a bit of a shame i mean wait for it like by the time that limit burst runs out yeah we've got 10 seconds left so that's a bit of a waste so i think at most thirty thousand points no idea why a guy is going for godly display Got a display granted is I believe the second it might even be the strongest strike skill in the game as of right now If not, it's power rush. I forget it really does depend But yeah, also that guy going for the evasives I think he's doing it to get five evasives so therefore he can then uh, get like a Z rank Maybe I don't know on this raid. I do have an S rank. It would be nice to get a Z rank But I don't think you can get a Z rank outside of you know Defeating the raid boss final explosion. I feel like it's a bit of a waste to be honest because someone already went for the limit burst when it shouldn't have. Uh, this guy spawned Goddy Display, which I don't know if that's going to cause iframes. Do let me know, because I don't know. I mean, I know it's really inefficient, because it just having not get tags and all that, where Benny can't me hard with there. So unfortunately, if that guy does join back, I'm going to have to kick him. No offense, David, underscore F. 3006. What happened to David, underscore F1 through 3005? I hope I'm okay. Uh, what am I doing? So yeah, uh, don't use that. Uh, just stick to skills like, you know, Emperor's Death Beam is a very safe bet. In terms of super, you can go for Bending Kamehameha. You can go for the consecutive energy blast. You can go for uh, Bomber DX. I just personally prefer the Bending Kamehameha, which you unlock just through the skill shop in Canton City very early on. And if you don't have it, just if you don't have it, you don't need it yet, right? Uh, so just progress with the story mode and eventually you'll be able to get it. Oh, yes, you will. So this is a very easy raid, doesn't have super armor, I don't think it's going to send us to different dimensions, I don't think it will at least. But yeah, other skills you shouldn't use, so Gigantic Roar is not the main one. Other skills you shouldn't use are skills that would trap the opponent into a bit of a cutscene, such as Spirit Sword, such as Divine Lasso, he sends his regards in the comments, such as Circle Flash, such as the kick version of Special Beam Cannon Beast. Again, I'm sure there's more that I'm just forgetting. Just use skills that, like, you know, Final Explosion is the best if it lands in terms of getting damage. Because it's, like, the strongest in the game with max stamina. Oh, actually, I don't think it's still, still technically the strongest now. We've got more stamina and key. Doesn't matter. But again, just don't just don't run Gigantic Roar. Apart from that, you're fine. Again, if someone does actually let me know, if it does actually let me know, if someone actually does know, please do let me know if God the Display does cause iframes. I 
think it doesn't because when the, I guess like the, the, like the neutron star sphere key ball, whatever, actually lands, because you know I tend to like I tend to enjoy finalising them on some rather uh, yeah on an occasion <laughs> with Kingsman Jones. You know, like it increases the um, like that really like like it, you keep getting hit. So I would assume it doesn't give iframes, but it just seems very 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 inefficient. It's like. It's like using Goddy Display, that's what I compare it to. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So again, I think after this raid, I'll be surprised if I get any more than 30,000 points, which is fine, because again, for this raid, I'm probably just gonna stick to 50,000 total points on a scoreboard, just so I can get, like, just copies of Fuse outfit. I've already got it a couple of times. I haven't checked when the last time this raid was available, or rather these rewards, and I haven't checked the last time it was available. No, last time and how many times, so... I mean, it's Fu's outfit, it's cool. It's a good outfit. I, I don't think it's any more than maybe five times. I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? Can we get away with maybe a cheeky a max stamina? Turn golden. Final explosion. Uh, I think he's in it. Yes, we can. Evasive, that's going to automatically stop. That's really annoying. Ah, uh, whatever. Again, max key. Probably got enough time now for max key once more than to use for all of the key for the bending Kamehameha, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. No, we've, we've not got enough time. So let's just risk a final explosion, you know what I mean? Wait for it. Is he in it? Is he in it? Yes, wait. No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> so how many points we got? We all could have got significantly more if they just waited the 60 seconds before loot burst. And again, if you don't know, you don't know. Well, I... Um, yeah, so that guy who was going for Goddard Display, he got fourth place. Now, if someone was AFK, that Flex guy, Flex for dinner, I'd assume it's because he's trying to get the partner keys. Fair enough, but I... Like, if, again, if he, if he joins back, I'm going to have to kick him because it's like, no, do it, like, jo join and whatever. And I know in the past I've... Well, I, like on Twitter, I'll say, oh, hey, I'm set up a raid now. I'm going to be AFK. Join knowing that. And people join. And it's like, fair enough, you know. Whatever. Anyway, that's it, my points we got, and we'll take it from there. A Namakian! A Namakian! Okay, there you go. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see who's on the Canton City broadcast. Oh, that's so sad. Guys, can I get... Wait, well, it looks like it's... It, like, I don't know if you're about to see it in the video, but me flying down and up, it looks like it's raining on there. I mean, I know it's like it is raining, but it looks like it's animated. That's uh, rather interesting. Oh, okay. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Okay, let's see my points. Uh, I think it's like 6,200. So for me, that feels like about 20 something thousand, like 22,000, I think maybe. Uh, how many? 26. Hey, look, technically halfway through, right? Halfway there. So let's go on quickly. Also, I saw, I saw Deoxys and that NAF guy. Um, Deoxys was number one, and that NAF guy was at number two. Fair enough to both of them. Shout outs. Uh, okay, let's go and accept the rewards from the last raid, which the last raid, I believe, was against Fu, funny enough. Uh, with only one worthwhile reward. Uh, nothing new, but it was the I've got something extra special for you, Superstar, which I'll, I'll try and get the description up if I can find it quick enough. But basically, what that does is if you have it equipped, it will boost the odds of you getting... It says the description is costume, but it's individual, uh, you know, parts of an outfit. Man, I really can't... F I really don't know where it is. I know it's a Piccolo one, so I'm just looking for... Wait, it says Piccolo, is that it? Oh, it's right there, okay. Yeah, it's a Piccolo Super Soul, Paralyzed Key Blast with an Auto Gauge Revive Limit Burst. So it's really meant for PvE. I mean, there's no way you're going to use this online against other players. There's no... There's just no reason to. When the battle ends, it boosts the chances of getting a costume. So I think that's fine, but I don't know why you wouldn't run the Shenron. Really went the extra mile super soul, which is like, you know, it, this. It, I mean, it's a decent super soul. It boosts item drop rate, but I don't know if that means material item, key item, skills, or what have you. I actually know. I think I did run this when DLC 16 came out, Hero of Justice Pack 2, to get the skills quicker. And I think it worked, so I would recommend getting that uh, before I actually logging to Burkhold. Because there's going to be 12 new parallel quests. Yes, 12. 1, 2, not 10, not 11, not 13, not even 12, but 12. Wow. Uh, new parallel quests when the new update comes out. So you get that super star. The Shadow went the extra mile from parallel quest 162. The man, the myth, the Yamcha. Rather nice. It's right there. It's an easy drop. I. 
got it. I've got it several times over, I think. Especially when I was trying to get the Dr. Hedo top for that trash talk video for like a year or so ago, or whatever it was. So this is from Hero of Justice Pack 2. If you don't have it and you're planning on getting the new DLC, I'd recommend getting this DLC because it gives you Gohan Beast as well. And like all these, I think it's from this one here, right? Actually, hold on, is it? Yeah, I think it's these five pedal crests. Some really cool rewards. So I'd really recommend getting it for this Super Soul to make the new uh, pedal quest just easier to grind through. So that said, before we continue for maybe the last one, uh, before I get 50,000 points, let me load into Burkhold, my freezer race, show you the settings, all that good stuff. Okay, one moment. Okay, rather nice. Hey, it's me, Burkhold. The freezer race cack. So this preset I have here, again, I need to properly update all of my presets on Burkhold, especially like various PVE and raid stuff, but what have you. I think there's a mod in front of us because you've got the color custom beer stay up here, but whatever. Uh, so here's the moveset for my main PVP build. If you want to know, it's the same QQ bank, but if you want to know the color settings, it's that pink there, pause to screenshot, and that black for the uh, key version, key version, but technically it's key version before the PVP play versus play version. Here's one of the player versus environment versions. And again, here's the moveset for this specific raid. You can easily replace drain field and even fault on swipe, fault on swipe because it sends the gigantic key blast back. I don't think Fu has that, but I just enjoyed using bending Kamehameha, it's whatever. In terms of the equipment, it's this right here. Oh, and that it's this purple across the board on either build. So, well, on uh, this, the uh, colors of the clothing. When I summon Shenron, those colors are the same on all of them because you can't change them unless you summon Shenron. To make this QQ bang, I use this QQ bang on every preset of Burkhold. As usual, mix the Bardock DBZ, Dragon Ball Z, battle top with the Beerus top and use a Super Mix Capsule Z as the mixing item. And eventually you'll get this exact QQ Bang, maybe one slightly better as in plus five instead of plus three in basic attacks. Because Freezer Race characters, much like Sand characters, have uh, naturally lower health, but naturally higher basic attacks. So there is that there. This is the soups I'm using. It activates 60 seconds after the fight starts and it's just fantastic. But there is a replacement. So I had to get this Super Soul, sorry. It's from an online raid. Unfortunately, the online raid, I believe it's against Bardock the Mask Sane. I believe that, well, it did happen a few weeks ago. Again, as of right now. So don't expect it back anytime soon unless they make it available through other means. And if they do, I will definitely do a video how to do that. A decent or good replacement is the Topo. I've cast aside everything for the Super Soul. It gives you an extra, extra large damage increase, just like that Super Soul, but the limit burst is different. Now, to get that Super Soul, the Topo one, Thank oh, it's glitchless, it says menu, that's interesting. It's from Payload Quest 145. Funny enough, it's a, a DLC, but it's a paid DLC quest from Legendary Pack 1. Funny enough, the DLC that added. Uh, Pycon, which is the raid boss. So it's that there. So that's how you get it. So now let me just quickly re... Oh, did, did I show the uh, stats? If not, here are the stats <laughs> right there. I do apologize. <laughs> Fair enough. Let me just re equip my main PvP bill for... Well, so sort of makes, makes it pick, pick, picking a burk on easy when do videos. Rather nice. And then we now summon Shenron so you can see the creation settings and like the color creation and all of that for Burkhold, my freeze race. Then we'll load back into Burkhold, my main, and probably do this raid once more to hopefully get 51 or 52,000 points. But I have a feeling we might only get like 48. But that's it. Let's summon Shenron and get this part done with so you can see how to make him. Okay, here's the voice. Right there, voice number 10, rather nice. Here's the appearance creation settings, nothing special. But, I mean, I've got the Super Saiyan Rose wig on, so the top doesn't really matter. And here are the color settings. Now, it's like it's weird how they do it for the, I think it's just for the freezer race, I'm not entirely sure. It's that gray, the darkest gray there in the top left. This pink for the uh, like the rest of the skin, and it's the same pink in a different location, unless it's slightly different, I don't know. But for the eyes, it's the bottom right pink right there. Again, pause the video, screenshot, what have you, if you want to know, so I'm not like spending 10 seconds on each color. And it's the same pink there for the clothing, or the, uh, not clothing, sorry, this isn't the clothing, this is the uh, the torso and the body settings that, you again, you can only change. I hate that you can only do it by Shenron, but you can only ch uh, change them by summoning Shenron. 
and into that black lane top left. Again, that's Burke Hold. Once, I know I've shown every raid video, but if you don't know, you don't know, and that's fine. So let's load back into Burkhol and finish this raid. Okay, and we are back. I believe he's level 55. Also, I'm not sure, but I don't know if when you make the lobby or join the lobby, well, when you make the lobby specifically as the host for online raids, if the health stays the same as what it shows. So, I mean, he had like half health. And it's, what, well, actually, level 55. Okay, so no, he's, he, he was definitely level 55, um, but no, he's level 65, so fair enough. So yeah, we'll be able to ease the goal the entire five minutes here, so we can absolute, well, get maximum, I guess, like, maximum efficiency in terms of points. Okay, someone's all defeated. Sorry, sucks, too suck, <laughs> I guess. Well, PyCon's just flying all over the shop, isn't he? Well, calm down, Pi, you can't, it's not that serious. I bet you only fight noobs. <laughs> now, you may be wondering why... I'm ben, you know, spamming Benny Kamehameha, but not running a Super Soul. That's what I'm actually running the... This is a real Kamehameha Super Soul. Off the top of my head, I forget if that does... If that's just for ultimates or what have you. Ultimate Kamehameha skills or supers as well. But no, this Super Soul, the let's start the ultimate final battle, which will activate in a few seconds. Wait for it, wait for it. Do patiently wait. Come on. Okay, we've all got a next... Me, team, me my teammates, and PyCon now all have an extra extra large damage increase to everything making it very nice and we've got the attack increase limit burst for the key regen as well so it's just fantastic it's just a shame i just can't get a guaranteed max stamina final explosion going because if i could like easy 50,000 total points so yeah perfect that's the perfect way in my opinion for this super soul to use it wait one minute limit burst and then just absolutely just destroy the raid boss and i do now forget what I was just talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. So, again, no release date. Look, this video has been uploaded the same day, like, immediately, right? Like, after a couple of hours after it's done, at least. So, I can edit in all that good stuff. But, again, as of right now, no release date for DLC 17 Future Saga Chapter 1 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. But I believe on the 16th of May, 2024, uh, the match again rid of the TP mails, like, buying TP mails with real money, like, so that's gone away. But you'll still be able to use them in game and actually get them in game. It's just that you're not gonna be able to buy them. You're using real money you know, after the 16th of May, 2024. I think everyone's done videos on it. I personally don't really care. It's whatever to me. Um, funny enough, I believe it was the 16th of May, 2020, sorry, 2016, when Xenoverse 2 was first leaked or teased as the fly through time project. I think it was, or it was the 15th, then on the 16th, it was officially revealed as Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. If you go to the channel, live streams, and go to the oldest live streams, there's like about 20 of them on the channel. Uh, I did like a reveal, like a, a live stream, not commentary, just like some rather nice uh, Ultimate Tenkaichi, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi 2 music, like waiting for the reveal, and I watched it. Oh, it's so magical. It's on the channel, right? It's it's it's, funny. it's one of the least viewed things on the channel, because of like, what, it was like eight years ago nearly. Fantastic. Do you know what? I'm in two minds here, whether or not I'm actually going to be able to get 50,000 total points. It depends how many contribution points we get at the end of this. And if I've got like just under 50,000, I'll do it once more, but I'll probably just like skip to like the end, just so it's not like another few minutes of just, you know, spamming the bending Kamehameha. But yeah, it's funny having getting rid of the TP medal through you know, buying them with real money on the anniversary of the game being revealed officially. I find that interesting. And I'm not too f uh, fussed about the name of the new currency being added. STP T uh, medals. STP medals. I'm guessing the S stands for Super or uh, Supreme or something like that. But STP sounds like something else, doesn't it? That's transmitted via certain events taking place. <laughs> The color cap, just call them super TP medals, STP medals. Actually, no, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, 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 STP medals. It's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, cheeky, I think. Let's try the max stamina final explosion, because why not? I think it's landed. Yes, it has. Don't go for divisive. He's got enough stamina to go for divisive. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. Ah, come on. Okay, nearly. Uh, I'm not going to bother with his stamina reset because by the time 
like just there's plenty of time oh, okay there's plenty of time now uh, I, I may have enough time to go for one more or well, two more max key than spamming benny coming on my eyes or like half, uh, max key then maybe half of one actually you know what because i can dusty nice yeah he's blocky he's just, just break his guard guys <laughs> Nice. Uh, I've got probably enough time for two more Benny coming on my ass. Not even that. Oh, okay. And fart on swipe just to end it. Rather nice. Uh, yeah, so if it's more than 6,500 contribution points, then we've got at least 26,000 damage points via the scoreboard. Moment of truth. With that limit burst. Oh, actually, that might that's that's cheek. I forget how many points I got the first time. I think it was like 6,200. I think it was. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that might be just barely under 50,000 points. That's going to be annoying if it is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then we go one yeah, one moment and I'll check. <laughs> That's going to be so annoying if it's under that. Ah, okay, moment of truth. Oh, I, I hate those um, artwork. It's like, really? Grow up. Because <laughs> I do tend to put like a Goku drip center on. Just, like, it probably wouldn't get the video demonetized, but it's like... Why risk it when it takes like 10 seconds, well, a few seconds just to put like a, a drip Goku PMG on. Anyway, with that said, I'm, I'm, it's, it's going to be like 49,000, isn't it? Oh, okay. Barely over at number 100 exactly. By the time this video goes up, I'll probably be like a number 1,000. 52,080 damage. So that's if, like, for the next, I guess, like tier for rewards is at 100,000. And I believe it's just a few extra TP medals. I don't need to do that. So that said, thank you all for watching. Good luck with the raid if you do decide to do it. More videos on the screen right now, and I'll see you on one of these videos in just a moment.